country, many of the people injured in the recent violence in Kiev. Shauna Reed had more. When Dr. George Husalak got a call last week about an opportunity to help in Ukraine, he jumped at it. For me, it was a no-brainer. I, I kind of said, where do we go? What do you need? What do you do? Dr. Husalak is one member of a small team of Toronto doctors traveling to Kiev tomorrow to lend their expertise and help patients where they can. There's a great need for prosthetics. There are many eye injuries. There are many limbs lost. Uh, there are many trauma-type injuries there. The doctors will visit the military hospital in Kiev and neighboring trauma centers where many of the patients were hurt in the violence at Independence Square. More than 100 people were killed. We're not a moment is with the Ukrainian-Canadian Congress. They co-sponsored the mission along with the Canadian Ukraine Foundation. She says the need is great. The government is pretty well bankrupt. There isn't a lot of money to go around. The medical healthcare system in Ukraine is quite different than here in North America or here in Ontario where we can go to hospital and we know things are covered. She says she hopes this experience will benefit both teams of physicians here and there. There are a lot of things that um, both countries can take from each other and, and that's probably the biggest sense that they can do that because um, Again, two heads are better than one, so hopefully they can come up with really good solutions. For Dr. Husalak, there are personal reasons, too. I was brought up being very patriotic, both to Canada and to Ukraine. We are really, really, really blessed to be Canadian, to be in Canada. And I think it's incumbent on us to reach out to help in any way we can. The team of doctors will be in Ukraine for 12 days, but it's only day one. The doctors hope to come back with their findings and develop a plan for medical assistance and make another trip in the near future. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto. Lots more still ahead tonight.